Data comes in all shapes and sizes these days, from spreadsheet tables to social media posts. Not all data is created equal. Let's break it down into structured versus unstructured data. Structured data is neat and organized information like you'd see in a database. Think rows and columns. It's your stereotypical spreadsheet of customer names, addresses, ages, neatly divided into categories. Unstructured data is more like a teenager's bedroom, a messy pile of information all over the place. Social posts, image files, videos, audio recordings, email content. This data doesn't fit into rigid structures. Here's an example. Say you run an online clothing store. Your customer order forms with names, items, purchase things, prices, etc., are structured data. But feedback posts from customers on your Instagram profile? That's the unstructured stuff. While messy, Unstructured data often tells a big part of the story. Analyzing it can reveal useful insights like customer satisfaction, not found in structured data. The best approach combines both types of data. When it comes to analyzing different types of data, you need the right tools. For structured data, simple models like logistic regression or decision trees often work well. But for unstructured text data, neural networks like BERT and GPT pre-trained on language data tend to be more effective. The key is matching the model to the data type and problem. So in summary, structured data is orderly and organized, while unstructured data is more free-flowing and expansive. And to get a comprehensive view of what's going on, you might need both spreadsheets and random social media posts. <laughs> <laughs>